Okay, let's see if I can get this recorded without making the video all blurry. So, to solder battery leads, I like to pre-assemble a pigtail, get it ready, and then obviously we have to attach it directly to the cell somehow. So I use a 100 watt iron, um, with, and this is uh, a, a quarter inch chisel tip, and I use that. So a 100 watt iron is probably 900 and something degrees, so f I don't remember, over 500 degrees Celsius. Um, and the reason is, and the reason for the huge tip is simply you don't want to go over two seconds. You want it as fast as possible, right? So you go one alligator, two alligator, and you get off. Done. The cell itself is not hot anywhere. I mean, obviously, the button's hot, but there is no heat exchanged throughout the cell because it happens so fast. So as long as you can do that basically that fast, so you clean the tip, get it melty, spool out, let's see, so one alligator, two alligator, off. Let's get this out of the way. So that's the one we just did. Now this one is fully cooled. Now we can prep and do the lead on it. And we want to do it when it's fully cooled because we don't want to sit there and continue to heat up the cell. So I get the leads tinned well. Again, I I kind of, after you tin them, I personally let them cool. And I like to get a pretty good pool on the iron. And then I'm going to angle them slightly towards each other and then up right and I, I want the wire to be fully seated on the button not just floating in the solder so that's kind of the big reason for the uh, the big pool on the iron is to let it melt all the way through maintain the heat all that good stuff. Hopefully it's not messing up the focus. Sorry if it is. Oh. So you see it'll pull it right down to be actually resting on the button itself. So I spot welded these. I use pretty thick tab. And then on the balance leads, I personally like to go on the negative side of the series strip. Same thing, clean iron tip, put a little pool on it, doesn't have to be too much. Now there's solder on the iron and then just make a stripe and get off. And you can see the flux run out there. So there's solder on the iron. Set it there. Make a stripe. Watch the flux flow and then get off. That's it. Hard to do this under the camera here. 
And then for the balance leads, you don't want to make too big of a pool. Uh, won't really hurt anything, but I guess solder conservation and weight, right? All right, so I always do red on the right, just so I can always remember. Um, so a six cell has seven balance leads and only five nickel strips. <laughs> so anyway, we want to take number two. And number two goes on the negative of the first cell. Number one is the red. Number two is the negative of the first cell. Um, so where we had already pretend. Right. So I'm doing this slow and hopefully we can follow along. So now we need four. So it's one, two, three, four. And of course, after you've made a couple of these, there's no counting or thinking, you just do it right. Five, six. Habit, maybe I do all the even numbers first. So obviously there's no other connection on the bottom, so number six goes on the last uh, the last strip of the series. So then that leaves the main positive and the main negative is number seven. So one and seven, right? So now if you go one, two, three is this next one, right? So I like to give it a little stress relief here. Obviously, the last one is here. So this is a six cell 4200 milliamp made with Molly cell P42A cells. Um, this cell configuration works obviously for any size, anything you're doing, just uh, if you're doing a six cell brick pack configuration, and this is all you need. For production type of reasons, I do the main positive and negative last just because those are the only ones you uh, you actually need to cut and then once we have these done then we'll will protect the pack with the insulation. I think that'll be a different video because this one 
is already running on. So, um, quick and easy test with a multimeter. And yes, I do definitely test every pack. So the main is 21.2. That is um, all of the cells setting in a storage voltage. So now I'm going to check that we wired the balance lead properly. So I hook up the first red. So it's 3.5 and you just count up by 3.5 every time, right? So it should be 14, it should be 17 and a half, and this should be full pack voltage of 21.2. And that's it. That is how to solder, solder main leads, and solder on the balance lead properly. Uh, when making a do-it-yourself homemade pack.